Guten Tag, wie geht's? Was ist das? Das ist New Welter. My New Welter PPQ M2 5 inch LE version. Whether you call it a Welter or a Walter or a Walter, I'm sure you can appreciate this fine German engineered piece of machinery. So guys, welcome to my unboxing. I just picked this up. And um, let's see what we have inside. It's an extremely light box with everything inside of it, which um, just talks to their overall packaging. I, I thought something was missing or manual was missing. I almost went back to the store, actually pulled over and checked it out. So it comes in the bag because it is dripping a bit. Okay, empty firearm, obviously, but not always obviously, so you should always double and triple check. Anyway, I just love the look of the 5 inch, and I don't have a 5 inch pistol yet. So this goes into my 9mm striker fired. So now I have 3, 3.5, three 3.9, and now a 5 inch. So one thing I wasn't sure about, how many magazines was I going to get? Being an LE version, I was hoping I would get three, and indeed I did. I found different stuff online. Um, whether or not the LE really came with three, we know the PPS LE comes with three, the six, seven, and eight rounder. But the uh, information was a little hard to find on whether the LE uh, version of this would really come with three, and at least this one did, which I'm very happy about. But just in case it didn't, What's hanging out over here? Sometimes 15 rounds is enough. So I picked up this Janik, if you're Turkish, or a Kanik, if you're an American, 20 round magazine, which is an 18 round with, that's already have a uh, McGar 2 plus 2 base on. I've, I have an order of extra plus 2 bases. At least one or two of these magazines will be getting a plus 2 McGar base onto it. Um, and then I'll be good to go with all kinds of different lengths and how much ammo I want to carry, which I occasionally may carry this in the winter time uh, with uh, with thick uh, cover garments, leather vest, or suit, uh, you know, for looking John Wick style. There's that, you know, everyone's used to that. There's some goody stuff. Um, though, most importantly, let's look at this. Is that some five feet? No, that's not five feet. That's certified at 15 meters before by Schutz Gretz. By Mr. Gretz before it leaves the factory. See that he's almost keyhole a couple shots there. And uh, yeah, that's what I want to see. Real manufacturers, everyone should be doing that. Uh, it is very nice to see. Uh, other people should take notice. Not like it's something new, but unfortunately, something that's not often done anymore. And then all kinds of goodies and whatnot. Manual. And I think that's it. And that looks like it. So, anyway, let's check the pistol out. Now, unfortunately, I just love the looks of this. Some people call it ugly. I call it beautiful. The 4-inch, you know, maybe balance is a little bit better, but uh, I wanted a 5-inch. I don't have a 5-inch yet. I wanted something I can use at some competitions and alternate between that and my uh, SIG 320C. But, um, you know, I wanted the extra sight radius, especially. A little extra velocity doesn't hurt, unless you're on the receiving end. And, um, you know... If you, you don't know much about these pistols, the ergonomics are exceptional. This just feels so darn amazing in my hand. 
And of course you've heard about the trigger, but why do they sell so few of them? I mean, if it comes feeling the best in most people's hands that there is out there, and it has the best trigger, besides that it's made really well and uh, is very reliable, I just I just don't know why it has uh, doesn't have a lot of the American market once the 7.2 version with the typical release uh, came out. It's just everyone else already had a foothold. But I got this an, for an amazing steal. I got this for an LE price at, at Bud's. Um, and I waited and got a $10 discount for Veterans Day. I almost bought a PPS. I was debating between them or doing both. I can't just justify it yet. So I got this uh, because this is one I really, really wanted. Um, but it feels amazing. Feels friggin' amazing. Okay. Now, a little wide on the rear post, not everyone likes that. I actually think uh, if you were actually tracking targets far, if this was actually used in combat, you would want that. Because then you could follow and lead without losing someone. If they had dark on or light on or suns in your eyes, you'd actually be able to track and lead the target a, a little bit. Um, you know, if you're shooting a pistol at 50 meters, 70 meters, uh, you know, things are going to be difficult. So I think that's something that would actually help. And now they're starting to market this. If you look at their one minute commercial towards uh, American law enforcement, it looks like. I don't think they're going to be able to break in that market too much with sales. Um, but hey, this got me this LE version at a very nice kind of blue label, if you will, type uh, price. So i um, very happy about it uh, as long as it functions well and, and we'll see with further testing, but I'll bring you guys more videos. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Okay. And uh, we'll see how this mag loader works. I actually don't have any mag loaders, so that's cool. That'll come in handy. Besides that, I wanted to pick this up. Why? Because 18 or 20, in this case, are better than 15. Wow, this is really greased. Even more than the pistol. Not used to that. Kind of want to wipe that down before I even throw it in there, to be honest. I was going to put that in there right now, but I think it's just, I think it's just gut oil. But, um, yeah, that's greased up pretty far. And because it's a European pistol, I think European pistols should be broken in with hot European type ammo. Talk about good packaging for ammo. Yeah, I, I, uh, huh. Can put Italians and Germans together, I suppose. Get some hot stuff. Now, I thought this was the AP. I didn't realize it was the CMG when I got it. That just means a little less lead poisoning for me. But I think it's going to be about 50 feet per second um, slower, perhaps. Um, but it's still going to be really hot stuff. So um, this is almost the hottest stuff you can find. 115 grand. Yeah. SMB also makes very hot stuff. This is the 124 grain because my carry ammo is 124 grain plus P American, which basically translates into something like this European SMB or Fiocchi, Fiocchi, however you want to say it, um, 124. It's pretty going to be pretty similar, so you can train, um, and, and not that expensive either. You can train with uh, stuff that will recoil similar to what your carry ammo will be. But at least for a break-in period on a European pistol, you see people buying other pistols and they're like, oh man, that thing jammed. Well, you're using cheap 115 grain Winchester white box or, you know, some cheap 115 that has like no velocity. I mean, at least the Remington's pretty moderately hot stuff. And I've never had a problem uh, with that, but you know, Winchester white box or some other stuff or reloads. And then you're like, well, oh man, the thing jams. Well, yeah, it's made for hotter ammo specs. So, um, hey, let's see what this thing points like. First off, let's see what that trigger's like. Let's go on the way back around. Okay, so you got the dingus. Here's the dingus. Take up. Bang. 
little spring forward assist which I really like. And then there, there's Marisa. So here as we aim at our bravo concealment T point for the nose and the eyes where we want to get that central nervous system hit. But I am waiting for a Dara holster. Hopefully Dara is going to hook me up with some kind of holster for this bad boy. And then you'll see a review video on Dara holsters. So look for review videos coming up of that. Okay, so that's my new piece of German machinery. Amazing grip. Try not to step in the light too much, sorry guys. Das ist gut, ja? That's Deutschland, D-E. For you tactical press checkers out there. Huh? Huh? Anyway, it's for the trigger, it's for the ergonomics and uh, the accuracy. These things usually keyhole for even moderate shooters. So I'll be putting this in through some combat uh, runs a couple times a month, probably alternating between all my pistols. I'll be doing that and maybe a few steel challenges. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it. There's my little unboxing. Um, I did get it at Bun's Gun Shop. There was a bit of a hiccup this time. Not nearly as bad as my first time, but there was a bit of a hiccup because it actually didn't ship from Bud's. It shipped from uh, one of their other distributors, and it actually needed paperwork from both of them, and there was paperwork from one. Anyway, it got cleared up really fast from customer service. There's Abraham at customer service. I talked to him. I thought that it sounded like he was going to take care of things for me. I drove to the dealer because it was a, a bit of a haul. And um, at Allied Arms, the guys are good there in uh, Ladson, South Carolina, outside Charleston, uh, former Marine. Uh, check that out, uh, alliedarms.com. Anyway, at budsgoodshop.com, um, Abraham Customer Service took care of me. He got it handled. Uh, he stayed on top of things because uh, I was trying to pick it up before closing time. So there was a bit of a hiccup because really it should have had invoices from both companies. One invoice has certain information. The other invoice should have had my information as well as a serial number. So they kind of needed all of that. And I usually expect that on one piece of paper, which I usually get from Buds. Um, it's just because this came from kind of outside their main distribution warehouse. So anyway, Abraham Customer Service this time uh, took care of me well uh, and actually offered up uh, a $20. So I'm probably going to pick up some more uh, hot ammo, SMB and Fiocchi and uh, give you guys some shooting videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Please subscribe. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Catch Jitsu.com. Check out all the grappling, jujitsu, catch wrestling, combatives, all that. And the combatsystem.com. Look at some of the Russian martial arts stuff. And uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. Take care. Guten Tag.